The Bing Crosby Show for General Electric. This is Ken Carpenter welcoming you to the Bing Crosby Show, produced and transcribed in Hollywood with John Scott Trotter and his orchestra and Bing's guest, Miss Rosemary Clooney. All brought to you by General Electric, neighbors of yours who believe there is no limit to progress when people work together. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here's Bing. <laughs> Oh, tell me who's got the ding-dong, who's got the bell? Somebody bad stole the wedding bell. 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 Now nobody can get married. Who's got the ding-dong, who's got the bell? Uh, who's got the ding-dong, who's got the bell? Somebody know, but nobody tell, cause somebody bad stole the wedding bell. We got sarsaparilla soda on the ice, we got shoes and rice and free advice. We got a bridal suite in Honeymoon Hotel, but what good is that without a wedding bell? Who's got the ding dong? Who's got the bell? Who's got the ding dong? Who's got the bell? Somebody know, but nobody tell, cause somebody bad stole the wedding bell. We got very fine detective Sherlock John, and he's sure to question every monsoon in the marketplace where people buy and sell. He's sure to arrest the one who sells the bell. Somebody bad stole the wedding bell. Somebody bad stole the wedding bell. Somebody bad stole the wedding bell. Now nobody can get married. <laughs> We got solos by the island singing band We got lots of sun and lots of sand We got a lover's moon, we got a wishing well And oh, how I wish we had a wedding bell Who's got the ding-dong, who's got the bell? Who's got the ding-dong, who's got the bell? Somebody know, but nobody tell Cause somebody bad stole the wedding bell Who's got the bell? Fine, Bing. Happy Easter. Hi, Ken, and a happy Easter to you. you have a nice day? Delightful. And very busy, too. You know, right after church this morning, I went on an egg hunt. <laughs> you went on an egg hunt? A little juvenile, isn't it? No, we're out of eggs at the house, so I went out hunting for a market that was open. <laughs> Did you get over to uh, Hollywood Boulevard for the Easter parade as oh, usual? Oh, went the full route, dressed to the teeth, you know, as they say in dental circles. <laughs> Would you like to tell the folks about your attire, or will they have to wait for the newsreels? Oh, I don't think we have to make them wait that long. I was dressed in the height of fashion, naturally. Oh, I can imagine. I featured a blue-black Homburg, worn with just a teensy-weensy tilt toward the right ear, charcoal cutaway coat, striped tie and trousers, pearl gray spats, and swim fins. <laughs> Swim fins? Yeah, I thought it might rain. Oh, I see. You're prepared for anything. Certainly. Well, then, too, uh, swim fins are much more comfortable than shoes. Ain't it the truth, honey? <laughs> Outside of the swim fins, uh, what else was outstanding about your outfit? Well, I think the big punch to my ensemble was the fact that I was leading a beautiful greyhound on a braided crocodile skin leash. Oh, how sway can you get? Imagine a greyhound on a braided crocodile skin leash. Oh, they cheered when I walked by the bus station. <laughs> I broke it up in front of the seven seas when I passed there. Figures. You know, Bing, I don't think the Easter Parade out here, though, compares with the one on Fifth Avenue or Park Avenue in New York, do you? No, I guess not, Ken, but you must consider that's an old established parade. Besides, one thing wrong with the parade out here is nearly everybody rides. Nobody walks. Yeah, why is it everybody out here is afraid to walk? Oh, gee, I don't know. I guess it's just because they don't want people to think they're behind in their car payments. <laughs> 
Another thing about the Easter parade in Hollywood that annoys me, Ken, this really hacks me, is that too many ladies are all dressed up in bullfighter pants, horses' tails, and ballerina slippers. Oh, well, they are. I can't aren't abide they? that. But uh, there's a reason for that. Everything's what? supposed to be sort of casual out here. Well, maybe so, but it just it rankles me, you know, as a purist, a fashion plate like me. I just... <laughs> Bill, you're acting strange. You sure you didn't swallow some bad egg dye or a decalcimania or something like that? I might have gulped a piece of transfer paper. <laughs> I, I think I'll get myself fluoroscope tomorrow. <laughs> I knew they'd see through you someday. Yes, sir, and tomorrow's the day. Why don't you come along and be my guest, Ken? Have a peek. <laughs> It's the best offer I've had so far this week. You want to think it over while yeah. I, uh, I get along with the next number? The title, which is prominent on every bulletin board in every post office in the USA, Wanted. That's the name of it. Someone who kissed me And held me closely Then stole my heart Wanted Someone I trusted Who gave no warning We'd ever part She was last seen Hiding out in someone's arms He knew nothing Of the danger in her charms A jury May find her guilty But I'd forgive her If I could see A signed confession that she's repented and really wanted no one but me. Hiding out in someone's arms He knew nothing Of the danger in her charms A jury May find her guilty But I'd forgive her If I could see a signed confession that she's repented and really wanted no one but me. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And now on this joyous Easter, 1954, it's a pleasure to have a real good egg as our guest. Real good singer, too, Miss Rosemary Clooney. Thanks, Bing. I think you're a real good egg, too. Well, I'm <laughs> Here, I brought you a little gift. Well, gee, look at that. It's one of those old-fashioned, fancy Easter eggs, isn't it? It's not old-fashioned. You see, there's a people in it. Oh, yeah, of course. You hold it up to your eye and you, you see a little tableau, a scene of some sort, huh? No, this is a new television Easter egg. New television egg? Yes, you hold it up to your eye and you see a commercial. Hey, let me have a look. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Okay. Well, I'll be darned. Friends, for more fancy Easter eggs like this, buy a rabbit from your neighborhood rabbit dealer. <laughs> you see, it's a genuine Easter egg. It's a rabbit egg. It's got to be. And, Bing, before I forget, I'd like to congratulate you on the way you're dressed up for Easter. 
You look like you just stepped out of a Brooks Brothers window. Hmm. Did you say stepped out of or stepped through? <laughs> out of. No kidding, you look very smart. Well, thank you. And, uh, may I return the compliment? Really, your Easter outfit's a knockout, Rosemary. It's, it's sensational. Thanks. It's nothing, no bing. Just bullfighter's pants, a horse's tail, and ballerina slippers. <laughs> I know, but it's terribly chic. Those red garters just seem to set the whole thing off. Well, those red garters are a plug for the Paramount picture of the same name. Say, you were snappy in red garters, Rosemary. <laughs> Easy there, I'll take back my Easter egg. Oh, sorry, sorry. Do you have a song from Red Garters you'd like to sing for us? Yes, I'd like to do Bad News. Well, that's good news for all of us, I'm sure. Step right up here. Now, Mr. Trotter will support you elegantly. <laughs> A guy, he took a train. Why did he go? Who can explain? It was a great love story. Now it's just bad news. Thought it was fair, thought it was kind. Funny how life changes your mind It was a great love story Now it's just bad news It was my one and only Now I'm lady lonely Wondering will he return my heart is aching Here's the point I'm making Women don't, women won't learn Try to do right Guess I did wrong Now every night Lingers too long Yes, it was some love story now it's just bad news It was a great love story Now it's just bad Real nice, Rosemary. I enjoyed that. What do you say we two uh, good eggs duet on something, huh? All right, oh, shall we head for the Easter parade? Oh, I was fixing to go in that very direction. John Scott, if you please. <laughs> Avenue. 
The photographers are gonna snap us And you'll find that you're In the rotogravure Oh, I could write a sonnet About your Easter bonnet And of the girl you're taking to the Easter Ah, lovely, Rosemary and Bing, very smooth. Thank you, Ken. We both thank you. You know, folks, the great musical South Pacific was just chock full of good tunes. But there was one which I always liked, and it was uh, a big hit in the show. But for some reason or other, it, it got kind of lost in the popular shuffle. It's this one. <laughs> Forget every cloud I've ever seen. So they call me a cockeyed optimist, immature and incurably green. I have heard people rant and rave and bellow that we're done and we might as well be dead. But I'm old. A cockeyed optimist, and I can't get it into my head. I hear the human race is falling on its face, hasn't very far to go. But every whippoorwill is selling me a bill. And telling me just ain't so I could say life is just a bowl of jello And appear more intelligent and smart But I'm stuck like a dope With a thing called hope And I can't get it out of my heart Fine, Bing. That was a real good tune. Oh, it always was, Ken. Say, um, you must have something special to say to the folks on this Easter Sunday evening, don't you? Well, Bing, I would like to extend Easter greetings to all our listeners from the men and women of General Electric. Mm, well, splendid, Ken. And let's add our greetings to the folks listening, too. I, uh, I suppose a rider to the greetings in order? Well, certainly. You know, Ken, the religious significance of Easter Day makes me wonder how many Americans realize what a privilege it is to be able to attend church and worship God each in our own way. Religion is an extremely personal matter. It's just between a man and his conscience. And yet even this right to worship God is forbidden in some parts of the world. In that sense, Bing, Easter worship certainly serves as a symbol of the freedom we enjoy as Americans. It's an indication of the good fortune we have over and above everything material we may possess in this life. A good fortune that we should all cherish and preserve. We certainly should. <laughs> I love those dear hearts and gentle people who live in my hometown Because those dear hearts and the gentle people will never ever let you down They read the good book from Friday till Monday That's how the weekend goes I got a dream house 
I'm gonna build there one day with picket fence and rambling roads. I feel so welcome each time that I return, and my happy heart keeps laughing like a clown. I love the dear heart and the gentle people who live and love in my hometown. There's a place I like to go, even it's up in Idaho, where your friendly neighbors smile and say hello. Such a pleasure and a treat to meander down the street. That's why I want the whole wide world to know. I love those dear hearts, and I love the gentle people who live in my hometown. Because those dear hearts and the gentle people will never ever let you down. They read the good book from Friday to Monday. That's how the weekend goes. I've got a dreamy dream house. I'm gonna build there one day. Picket fence and rambling roads. I feel so welcome each time I return, and my happy heart keeps laughing like a clown. I love the dear hearts and the gentle people who live and love in my hometown. Who live and love in my. I think, uh, ladies and gentlemen, John Scott Trotter has made a, an excellent choice for his orchestra selection this evening. It's Bobbles, uh, Bangles, and Beads from the musical operetta Kismet, currently a smash in New York City. <laughs>
nice treatment, uh, John. Very interesting, very exciting. Well played, too, men. Also a nice plug for costume jewelry, if you come to think about it. Sleeping. Now the time has come to part, the time for weeping. Vaya con Dios, my darling. Vaya con Dios, my love. Now the village mission bells are softly ringing. If you listen with your heart, you'll hear them singing. Vaya con Dios, my darling. Vaya con Dios. Wherever you may be, I'll be beside you. Although you're many million dreams away, each night I'll say a prayer, a prayer to guide you to hasten every lonely hour. Of every lonely day Now the dawn is breaking through A great tomorrow But the memories we share Are there to borrow Vaya con Dios my darling, vaya con Dios, my That's about the, about the uh, sum and substance of it for this evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank Rosemary Clooney very much for being with us. I want to express my hope and desire that you'll all be with us again next week, same time, same place, when our guest will be Miss Tony Arden. Thank you very much and good night. This program was produced and transcribed in Hollywood by Bill Morrow and Murdoch McKenzie. Tune in next week and hear Bing and his guest, Miss Tony Arden. The Bing Crosby Show is brought to you each week by the people of General Electric, who believe there is no limit to progress when people work together, and that General Electric, progress is our most important product. Friends, when you give an Easter Seals contribution to crippled children, your help provides the necessary training which teaches them to walk, to talk, and to take care of themselves. So send in your contribution today. You'll be glad you did. <laughs>